freezes uh, just to have some parallelism we don't want to make uh, a not good example for our students so there you go guys so i am teaching grade 7 mathematics and you are in my section section dungo um i have already created the milestones in my class for me to have a grade and deliver my lesson to my students so i have here my lectures channel my activities channel my quizzes my assignments my projects and periodical tests very easily so when i go to teams i can see my class to where i would like to put in some channels i would click on that and then i have here all the rest of the milestones and maybe i can put some channel very important maybe the parents conference channel And one is the administration admin monitoring channel. So this is very good. I can put a, another channel for, that would be my eighth channel for my admin monitoring. Okay, so what is nice about these channels is that it would give you a, a very organized way of telling your students that whenever you are on my math class, when you want to see my lectures, you can just go to the lecture channel. And uh, activities are, are, are there in the activities channel. So for now, you are, your task is only to create channels. So uh, I hope you can do this on your own. And uh, Typically, in a normal situation, I would be giving you, um, I would be giving you time to do this. Uh, but since um, I think we don't have the luxury of time right now, we will proceed. And uh, I hope you could do this activity from 11 to 12. So is that a yes, yes, yes? Can I proceed to my next activity? Yes, 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 yes. All right, good. So don't you worry because this uh, is a recorded uh, webinar and you can see it live in uh, Facebook in Deped Lapu Lapu City. So if you have missed some steps, then um, you can go back to Deped Lapu Lapu City Division for you to check those channels. So as I am saying, we have two, uh, in fact, three cases on how can we organize our learning milestones inside our classroom. For elementary level, uh, since I'm thinking of elementary, my sons are in elementary. If uh, you are the teacher in mathematics learning essentials, for example, then you are going to look into putting up some, maybe uh, you're handling grade five, so uh, grade one, for example, so you have grade one science, grade one math, and so on and so forth. So you would be handling all of the subjects in uh, one grade level. And some others, you would be handling one subject for different grade levels and maybe in some others you would be having different subjects for different grade levels so in whatever those cases chances are in microsoft teams number one you can create your subject per class in same same uh, in the same microsoft team you can create um one team for different subjects you can create one team for the same subjects with different grade levels, just like uh, as my example. Or maybe you can create one subject with different learning milestones as uh, what I have given to you as an example for my grade seven mathematics dungo. So if I would like to show that once more, so my grade seven mathematics dungo have different learning milestones already, and this is ready. Uh, for me to deploy to my students and just tell them under general i can chat them here go to lecture one answer activity one quiz one assignment one for week one and then uh, i would like to see your progress uh, when you submit your assignment so something like that and uh, that would be our next activity so all right so if you are ready then i think i can proceed to my next activity can i hear a yes 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 Yes, 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 yes. All right, so yes, uh, yes, this, yes. Is very, this is very fast. I hope, yes, yes. Um, I hope you can still follow. 
and uh, we will give you time at uh, exactly 11 to 12. All right, so number four, very interestingly, is to upload files in lesson channels. So our next activity is how to upload files in lesson channels. We want to have our MELP. We have already our um, mod modules prepared for each of the most essential learning competencies. Our modules are quality assured already. The central promised to give their modules. The region also would like to participate on that. Our division is working on at it and they are in the quality assurance space. Uh, once this has been released, then you can upload this to any of your learning milestones very quickly, the same as uh, you are putting it in uh, the social media. So uh, let me show you that. So there are eight steps. Uh, number one, you have to click on the channel where you want to put in your files. Next to that is just click on uh, give a title to your lecture and then browse, click on the paper clip icon to attach files. Then you can click upload from your computer. You can upload from OneDrive or you can browse themes and channels to get your files from there. And of course, when you click on upload from your computer, you can go into and look for the lectures which you want to put in and then click the located file you wish to add, click open. And uh, after that, you click wait until the upload is complete. And once the upload is complete, you click the send button so very easily. Uh, I just made it very, very precise. So as you can see here, we have already quick uh, quarter one, week one, illustrates the well-defined sets or subsets. This is for grade seven. So that's one, our lecture introduction to sets. And final, this is the learner, uh, learner's guide. So I have uploaded the learner's guide under my lectures or under grade seven. So this is how easily we can transfer our files from our desktop to our virtual classroom. So let me go into that very quickly. So uh, we are now going into the introduction, all right? Uh, the demonstration rather. So uh, let me give you the, the Teams conversation once more. So we are here in our Teams meeting. So maybe in a virtual classroom, these are all my students and I am their teacher. I am talking to you now. So let me go to my teams. Under my teams, I just would like to double click on that so that you would know that I have lots of subjects already. I would go to my subject grade seven mathematics demo where my students are already inside. I would go to my lectures because this is a lecture and I would like to add in my first lecture. So I would first type the label of that lecture. So let's say lecture one and lecture one about sets, for example. All right, then I can uh, click on the clip icon or the paper clip icon. And then we're setting up your files. Check back in a few minutes. So uh, it would tell you that you can, uh, they are setting it up. So they have already set it up. I would just click on upload from my computer then I would look into where the sets is. So let's say, uh, where can I find the sets? Let me have a quick search on that. Um, I can just maybe give you, I have already a lot. There you go. So I have there my sets, so introduction to sets. Um, you have a list of that. There you go. So I have my corrected TG. I have lots. Uh, there you go. Introduction to sets final. I can click open. So there you go. I can just verify this to introduction to sets. So I have uploaded here a PDF file, just a sample. But of course, you can add uh, a lot more. You can attach document file, a PowerPoint, a movie, a video. And this is what I told you a while back, that you can attach 15 gigabyte of one file per 
um, upload. So when I click upload, automatically my introduction to sets final is there. And if you are a student and you want to see what's the first lecture of Sir Don, you can just click on this inside your virtual classroom and take note the introduction to sets would be opened inside the virtual classroom and they will not go out to the PDF viewer. They are still on the Microsoft Teams. And this is very good because you can still talk to them while they are answering their exam. So this is very nice. Of course, you can make it very big. So I have here already, this is a learning guide for the introduction of sets. So this is very easy. Uh, what the lesson is all about. Uh, I started with my activity and take note, this is authored by mom Catherine P. Vistro, uh, doctor in education. So she allowed that this would be uh, given to my class. I, I co-teach with her. So this is very nice. So as you can see, um, the, we, we have some sessions. How can they do it? and they have the questions to ponder upon, they have the exercises to do it, the Venn diagram. And as I am talking to my kids, I can tell them to draw a Venn diagram to show relationships between the following pairs or group of sets. Then I can co-author with them. It will be shared to you by another speaker. But my task is only to, to let you see how can we upload a file? So I can just click close on that. And this is already under my lectures and my introduction to Sense Final. I can follow up that. Uh, of course, I can put in my lectures as well uh, via YouTube. So I can easily copy a YouTube link. So if I may try that, I can go to a uh, YouTube channel. I look for introduction of sets of course uh, what is nice about this is that uh, you can make your own um, video put it in youtube or many others so one thing in caution you have teachers must be able to see must be able to view the video first before you are going to add them so this is very 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 important you have to know how the material is, if it is good for your class, and so on and so forth. If it is understandable, if it is not, then maybe you can create your own. So just for the sake of example, I just have copied, or I can go to share and uh, embed this, or just copy the shared uh, file here. And after that, I can just click close, go back to my class. Very sorry. So I can just go back to uh, my grade seven class and I can put a lecture on introduction of sets mm -hmm. video. So look at this and I can just put in the, the YouTube channel there. And uh, what is nice about it is that I can also add a tag and I can choose a YouTube channel. Yeah, I can go to a YouTube channel. I can add a specific channel to YouTube so that my students would not go out to the YouTube channel. Maybe they would, uh, they would see something there that uh, I don't want them to see. So I have to check whether um, they can see only what I want them to see. So right now, I have here with me the introduction of sets. So can you imagine uh, we can go to our lecture. So if the students can go into the lecture, they can see my lecture in PDF form. So when they click that, they can open it here in Teams. And when they open the, the YouTube channel, the YouTube channel will also open under Teams. So they will not be going out and uh, be maybe misguided to whatever the students will see. But they would open here. Then we can also add uh, the another URL here, our DepEd Commons, of course. No, so I can add a website, and then uh, I can paste my URL here. So I would search in DepEd Commons. So 
So I would search here Deped Commons. And what is nice about this is that Deped Commons is free for both public and private school. You only have to choose the your school with meet be public or private, and this is for free. And when I go back to my teams, there you go. So when I go back to my teams, I'm very sorry, that's a I can paste the link here of the commons, that's commons, the deputy, the group, the page, and then I click save. Then automatically, the website of Deped Commons would still be open in Microsoft Teams. And even you can you can add your Google Classroom here. I'm very sorry, I cannot answer you for this time. I'm so sorry. Okay, good. So um, I am here right now on my grade seven lectures. So I have already demonstrated to you how to add an, uh, a lecture using PDF file, using a YouTube link, using a YouTube channel, and using a website. So in our students, if you want to see like the lecture of sets in PDF, they can just open that up and take note. We can call them, we can talk to them, and we can collaborate with them in teams. They are not going to go outside of our um, class. So this is very, very important. If you want to make it big, you can just make it 150%. And then the students can maybe read for those who are visual learners, they can read. For those who are auditory and visual, they can click our introduction to sets via video and they can play it via YouTube and take note. The, the link that uh, shared is only what is seen, and that is very, very important. And you have to validate also and qualify whether these videos are good for your kids. And when you go back to lectures once again, you can even go to DepEd Commons and try to go to your school. For example, 303183 is my school. I can click on that. I would put there, I am a student, for example. So my student is, this is my son, Daniel James. Then Daniel James at Outlook.com, for example. You click on save on that. And then you can open and select a grade level now. Let's say maybe grade three. And uh, my kid would like to try mathematics, for example. Then I can go to the link, fourth quarter online reviewer. Then click OK. Automatically, you would see there the. I'm very sorry. That's an outside link, so we don't want to go there. Rather, I want to maybe check grade five mathematics, and uh, I want to see a game puzzle for the fourth quarter reviewer. This is Kid Tech. Very good. So I can just click OK, and automatically I would be in. Why I am not? Uh, I have to go there, 303183. I just would like to go as a student. Uh, Daniel James. Wala naman share. Sorry, sorry. Thank you very much for that comment. I would like to share again my screen. Thank you. So. Uh, I just would like to show you that if I have a uh, like a classroom under lectures, I can add a PDF, a YouTube file, or a website. When I click a website, let's say DepEd Commons, I have already. Uh, I would like to make a grade level and a subject, and I would like to go to that link. Then you are about to visit a page. Ah, so that's outside Deped Commons. I don't want to go outside Deped Commons, but only inside. Let's try grade three. I would like to go to kindergarten. Oh, there are so many kindergarten already. So maybe grade one, mathematics, and tech. This should be good. Okay, good. So if I if you would go to the link and if it's outside the organization, uh, you don't have any much choice but to really go and uh, try it uh, from their website. 
Ah, so okay, okay, okay. So let me check my my name there. So I would like to select a grade three level in mathematics, for example, and then go to that link, then click OK. Automatically, I can I can participate on the quizzes, um, on this particular DepEd Commons adventure. So, um. Whenever you have a lecture and then um, you have prepared materials already, maybe in hard uh, soft copy in PDF form, in Word, Excel, or PowerPoint, uh, maybe a video link, a YouTube channel, or a website, you can attach that all under lectures. So that's what I would like to emphasize to you uh, in this very exercise. Okay, so I hope you, you did that. Um, is that something that is very good to be uh, placed in our virtual classroom? Can I hear a yes, yes, yes? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Thank you very much. So, of course, uh, you can't limit yourself in the there. You can also put there your activity number one, two, three. Uh, each week, you can give them one activity for the whole week. So, like uh, my first activity, you can just put their activity number one. And then you type, uh, I want you to plant a tree. And give me plant a tree in your backyard. And post a picture here with your plant. And this is very nice already. This is a very nice activity. You can post an instruction, and then students can reply with their plant. So they can paste here some pictures of their plant, maybe a YouTube of their plant, and uh, many others. So as, as I'm doing this, uh, the students can also reply to my comment. And of course, you can also add here your quiz, and I would like to um, not preempt my co-facilitators because they would also be filling up these things um, it, during their time. But for me, as for my activity, I am here to introduce to you how to add files in a particular channel. So I hope I have done that. And um, uh, what we did is adding a, a lecture file to our lecture channel. So I think we are done with adding a file. Um, we would be sk skipping up the activity because uh, I would like you to do it uh, 11 to 12. I have 20 more minutes to go. So let me take you with my fifth activity. So are you ready for the fifth activity? Can I hear a yes, yes, yes? Yes, yes, yes. yes. All right, good. So for the fifth activity, this is very easy. How to make an instant message or group chat in Microsoft Teams. So um, when, you get, when a student gets inside the classroom, they have to talk. Uh, you cannot let them say, uh, be quiet or do not talk, but you have to hear them. They can talk with their classmate, to the teacher, to the group, or to the whole class. So here in Microsoft Teams, you can easily talk to any student, whether in a group, individually, or everyone, by uh, clicking on the chat in our navigation bar, or maybe in the quick chat on the tab applications. And then you type the person who you want to chat with, and then you type your message here, all right? So when you type your message, you can attach files, give an emoji, GIF, popular stream, or phrase. So this can also be used in submitting works uh, or assignments from your students to you or any other way. You can ask them. They can ask you how to do the activities, for example. Then click send and deliver your message by clicking on the airplane icon or the send icon. Okay, so very easily, there are eight steps. That's uh, I really put it there very detailed in detail, but um, in actual practice, it is just very easy. So for clicking the chat button, you can click, select the group or individual to check your chats and then view the chat area here. So for activity number five, I want you to send a message to me describing yourself starting the letter of your name so in my example there is devoted donald you can add an emoji or gif is plus so let me give that to you 
as uh, an example. So let me demonstrate that. How can a teacher or a student talk in the class? So in the virtual class, our teams, we can go to our subject, let's say grade seven mathematics. Then I would like to chat with my student. So I can just click this, then I can type surface. Then there you have congrats are done. So I can type my message. Thank you, Sir Fritz. Thanks, Sir Fritz. You are amazing as well. Great job. Uh, I can add an emoji, a GIF. So let's say great job. So I would like to make a thumbs up, for example. So, oh, Mr. Bean is there. So I can click on the send icon, then automatically we can express um, our feeling to our kids. So that's how easy that is. Or you can even use the at sign or the mention sign. Let's say at Glenny. How are you today? So something like that. So you can enter right away, sending your message. Uh, when you check in Glenny, um, you can already see how are you today. So very easily. So for your task, please message me under chats. Uh, you have to write down. You have to send me a message describing yourself, starting the letter of your name. Example, devoted Donald. All right. So you are to give me. There you go. Thanks, Po. Oh, sorry, said Danny. I want you to describe yourself. The first letter of your name. Okay, go. Let's see if uh, who can do that first. Sir Fritz, you have the great job, Mom Gwen. Okay, yes, yes, yes. So, Mom Judeline, Judeline gives praise. Oh, this is something good. You can give a touch or give some praise to your co-member or student. So this is something good. Send praise to people. Wow. So I can give a courage badge to, let's say, Mom Rubilin. So there you go. So I can click preview. Wow. And I can send. This is something good. So this is one way also of encouraging your kids. So you can also give a praise to somebody. So if they have made their, um, I am inspired to to learn a lot in this webinar. Thank you very much, Paul, Sir Isagani. Delete uh, record, sir. Good morning, Sir Don, and created MS Teams. So please do uh, give me a chat for those who are inside this Microsoft Teams. And uh, please give me a description of yourself. And of course, you can also do that later in our um, laboratory exercises. Uh, I have now 10 more minutes. And I would like to go into uh, my sixth exercise, which is very easy, how to make a voice or video call in Microsoft Teams. And uh, this is something you can do uh, You can do later because we are in a call right now. So we are in a meeting. So I hope you can do this, but I have to tell you the steps so that you can do this also. So aside from chatting, chatting is a text-based, so uh, someone can text you. Uh, what is nice about to see also the expression of the other person's end. So are you willing? to spend more time on how to make a voice or video call. Can I hear your yes, yes, yes? Yes, 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 yes. Very yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. right. yes. good. Thank you very much for your response. So, Nino kaya ning na atay mga student na who are responsive. So to make a, a call, just click the calls button on the navigation bar and then click to make a call. Very easily, you can click the call or the phone icon to make a voice call and then click the video icon to make a video call of course the, the two difference of the difference of the two rather is that when you want to hear the voice only maybe your background or the environment you are in is not good for viewing then you can go and click the phone icon to make 
a voice call. But if you want to check how your student would respond and uh, your the facial expression, you can click on the video icon. This is most especially when you are taking an exam. So I have uh, an experience of taking an exam of a Microsoft certification um, virtually. So what they did is they let me open my video cam and then uh, they check whether nobody is around or I am the only one sitting on a particular table and there's no papers or books for references. And I, while I am taking the exam, they are viewing me uh, from the video cam. And of course, they put some restrictions there that I am not allowed to talk to anybody, to communicate in any way. And uh, my certification would be disqualified if I would have to uh, not follow their specific instructions. And this we can maybe apply to our class. So if I have a class and I would be giving an exam to them, you can just turn on their video and I can watch over them while they are taking an exam. And this is something very good. And uh, maybe the starting July, I would like to uh, announce this ahead of time that Microsoft Teams is also doing the seven by seven display. So 49 of our students can be seen at once. And this is very good as a practical um, purpose for our class. So for your activity number six, you can try it during our break to make a video call to a friend or a group of friends if you want to talk to them. And this is something that we are doing in the division office. So every Mondays and Fridays, we are doing a conference. So in the conference, I have just added all our principals or our PSDSS and supervisors and division key personnel in one Tepid uh, Lapu Lapu City uh, virtual uh, venue. Then uh, when I call in that, then everybody would be called and they would enter into the conference Then we can discuss a lot of things. So that's it. When you have added your students automatically, they are on your list all the time. So the only thing that you are going to do is to click a button to call them. So um, let me show that to you. So I will click Teams in the navigation bar once again, click that twice, and then I can go to grade seven mathematics Dungog as my virtual classroom. I have already added my students, so I can click on the more options then um, manage team and i can see here all of my students so in each of the students i have here but uh, for this exercise i would have to click on call since i would like to make a call then make a call just click make a call then you would have here the list of all of your students so your recent contacts will show up here so i have not contacted anybody yet so i can type sir glenny for example my favorite student, then I can uh, give her, give him a audio call or a video call. Okay, so um, for the time being, since we, not, we are in a call, I don't want to go out of this call. We can do this at the end of this um, session. So of course you can also, uh, when you have grouped your, um, when you have grouped your, participants or your students right away, I can also call to a uh, group. So I have here the division core group and uh, I can throw a message to them or maybe i uh, call them. Uh, using the mention, sorry. Division 0365, what is that name? Division 0365. Oh, sorry, I did not. Uh, uh, they are not in my. They are not in my members, so I can only add. I can only. I can only call those who are in my team. So in my team, I have here the rest of the people, and uh, those are the people that I can call. So when you click on this particular person, so you can just click a video call or a audio call, or you can go to calls, and then uh, you can go to your, of course, you can go to your contacts, uh, you can add contacts and many others as well. And of course you can make a call and you can type uh, all the rest of the students which you have uh, with, and then you can call them. So I hope you would be doing this uh, during our 
time since uh, when you make a call, uh, it would make you go out of this uh, video conference. So I think we are done with that very, very quickly. That's very, uh, that's how we can make a, a video call. We can chat and we can even call them. So let me give you number seven, which is very important, how to organize meeting in Microsoft Teams. This is very important. And I have um, five more minutes to discuss this with you if it's okay. So can I hear a yes, 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 if you are willing to do five minutes more? Yes, 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 yes. yes. Okay, good. Yes, yes, yes. So, nice meeting in Microsoft Teams. So in Microsoft Teams, you have here uh, your Teams uh, class. So you are going to select a channel where you want to place your meeting. So maybe you are under general. Then you click on the Meet Now button. So this is the Meet Now button, the video icon. And then when you are Meet Now, maybe you have there you have to give a title of your meeting, maybe a reading of forms. So write a subject of your meeting, and then you click Meet Now very easily. So when you click Meet Now, automatically, uh, when you uh, you can invite people in your meeting on this side. Uh, you can click on More Options and show options of your meeting. So you can show device settings. This is where you can control the camera, mic input and output show background effects this is where you can choose to blur your background or choose any background presets given and you can start and end recording so what is nice is that we can also um, start and record our meeting so that whenever those who are not in the meeting or maybe absent when they turn into that particular channel you can they can see there the recorded uh, meeting so they can tune into that meeting and of course, you can click end meeting. So if you are the host to end the meeting, you have to end the meeting. But if you are not the host, you just have to click on the end your call. So if you end your call, it not it doesn't necessarily mean you have end the meeting. You just ended your call, your personal call. But when you click end meeting, everybody else inside that meeting would be uh, would would end their call. So they would be going out to that. Uh, session all right so uh the elapsed time of your meeting is here as well and this is how to enable or disable your video i think you are familiar with that already this is how to enable and disable your audio and the share screen so that's where you can share your screen i hope um i would be the only one who can share my screen right now and then please do not share your screen yet then show the chat box so this is where you can chat us and paste your output and show participants. So when you click this, you can see the participants under this class. All right. So uh, that is how to organize your meeting. And I think um, if uh, I cannot show that to you because when I click this, maybe I would be out of this call. So I hope you could uh, do that in uh, at 11 p.m. So uh, my time right now is 10.57. I still have three minutes and uh, I hope you would uh, give me more time for me to give you my eight and which is very important as well. So for three minutes, I would like to give you how to give assignments to students and members in a class because this is very important as well. So to give assignment, you are just going to go to assignments under general tab then click get started after that you are going to create your quiz or assignment so for example you are to click an assignment when you are clicking an assignment then you are going to give the title of the assignment maybe assignment number one specify the instruction so i have here since i am working on sets so share your thoughts in one paragraph why grouping is important please omit is on the first uh, why or in the second one why grouping is important because that is my spring um, for my discussion on sets okay so assign points maybe you can assign 25 points 
or maybe you can add rubric. So if it's not a point system, you would put a rubric, then you would say uh, how, how efficient or how accurate their data is. So you can add a rubric there and you can give a due date. So I think one week uh, is a good due date. And you can choose also the recipient. You can give this to one student or all students. By default, it is set to all students. And then you can click the set the time due. So you can set in like the Friday and it's 11.59. So, and then you can click assign. You can see there are 14 steps, but because that is very detailed. So let me give that to you as a demonstration. So um, we are, ah, by the way, um, in the number 13, you can see already your assignment can now be viewed by your students. And then when the students would have the grades, you can click the grades, you can also grade the student as well. So very quickly, let me give that to you as a demonstration. So when I click Teams, I go to my class, grade seven mathematics duo. I go to general channel. There's no other channel wherein you can uh, give your assignments, but only in general so that our students would not be going where. Assignments meaning it not only be assignments as their assignments, but really the task that is assigned to them. So when you click assignments, for example, um, you can already just, just give them a time to uh, set it up, then click create an assignment. So if you are the first time to do this, I'm also using my A1 free account. So this is also my first time using it. And I think, uh, they, they are the same with uh, my A3 account. So I think the, the main difference is that uh, A1 is for trial uh, so that you can try it before you can implement it in your class. So when you click assignments, what is the system is doing is that it is looking into the number of students and preparing them to be given an assignment. So do not give an assignment without first adding your students. If you don't have any students um, inside your class, assignments cannot be made. So uh, that's why this may take a while and feel free to keep working and check back later. So this is very good. Even if uh, the, the assignment is setting it up, uh, you can still work on and uh, we will get back into that later. Okay, so we will follow that instruction. And before I end, uh, before I end my session, I would like to give you uh, another slide to learn more about Microsoft Teams. You may visit the help section, then click training. So Microsoft Teams is um, documented, properly documented. All about Microsoft Teams you want to know is in the help section. So that's the last icon in the navigation bar. You just have to click help to learn more and then click training. Uh, you can have topics, training, and what's new and about, but I like training. So when you click training, automatically it would give you all the how-tos that I have shared to you. And uh, of course, you can also go to education.microsoft.com and uh, you can see there are a lot of courses, which if you want to dig in deeper, uh, you can see and watch how the community is growing using Microsoft Teams, the best practices of other schools who are also using this, and so on and so forth. All right, so I hope I have done all of this eight except for create and grading assignments. I hope uh, this is done yet. So if this is not done yet, I, I do not do not worry because I would have my next presenter to do this. I just don't want to end not on time, but I promise you to end at 11. So it's already 11. So I would be uh, ending up. So I hope I have given you much for my two hour period, which is, which are creating an online classroom, adding students to it, adding lesson channels, uploading files in lesson channels, make an instant message, conduct a voice or video call, organize meetings and create and grade assignments. And the create and grade assignments, I would be giving this over to my next presenter, which would be this afternoon. 
So she would be the one to discuss this create and grade assignments. If it's okay with you, Mam Rubilin, can I hear a yes, yes, yes from Mam Rubilin? Wala na. Hi, Mam Robes. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Thank yes. you, Mam Rubilin. Yes. yes, good job. Yes, yes, okay, yes. So um, to end, I would like to quote in um, one of my mothers in the Department of Education, the late Dr. Carmelita T. Dulangon, uh, as she was saying, uh, it is good to know your why all the time. Why are you doing this? And the, she said to me, this is your why. Do what is good, do what is right, and do what, what is pleasing in the eyes of God. Do what is good, it, it is not better, it is not best, but do what is good. It means you don't compare yourself to others. Do what is right. So if you are right, then you will never go wrong. Keep it right. Okay? So and do what is pleasing in the eyes of God. And I would like to highlight not the eyes of men, but the eyes of God. Thank you very much and good morning. Back to you, Mom Gwen. Thank you so much, Sir Don. Okay, so yes, 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 you are doing good. You are doing right. Thank you very much for the um, yes. Okay, so I think um, it's, it's a great now. So we will come back at exactly 12.45. So we can start in the afternoon. So thank you very much. And happy lunch. Stay safe. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so we would like to greet our uh, online viewers. Now we have from my school, Putenganyo High School. Hi to all my teach school teachers and to the private school, the Proversville Academy. Hi to Dr. Tucci Daya and to the faculty. And of course, to our Solid Rock Christian Academy faculty. Hi to Ma'am Sistoso, Ma'am Rich, Ma'am Antonio. Thank you, Sir Don. Benny, yes, uh, thank you very much for watching over us, uh, uh, for viewing this. And of course, from our Facebook Live also, I have already cut it off. I have already stopped recording. Thank you very much for those uh, who are present in the first session. So you may hang up right now, or you may just, for those who are not using their data, you must you can just continue and turn off your mic and your video so that exactly 12.45 or 1 o'clock, we will start our afternoon session. God bless and keep safe, everyone. You can take your lunch now. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you, sir.